shortly after I finished the review of the Oculus Quest, the hand tracking features were actually released as an experimental thing on the Oculus Quest. So I thought I'd do just a quick video on how to get it working and what implications it has for us as physical therapists. Uh, first off, you need to get the, um, the software update, which is 12.0, and you need to um, enable uh, developer mode inside the app on your phone or on your iPad device. And then you go into experimental features here, and then you enable hand tracking. And after that, you go use hands, and then your controllers disappear, and then your hands are here. Um, as you can see, I have pretty wide fields of, see, it disappears down here. So basically, if you're not looking at your hands, it's not tracking your hands. And one of the problems we have is, once you get occlusion like this, the hands disappear, like you can see. So, but, I mean, besides that, you have very precise mapping of the hands, and there's basically no delay. And how you work it is you point, you can see there's a pointer here, so you point where you want to go and you pinch. And if there's, um, you can like scroll by pinching and pulling up and pinching and pulling down. So let's, let's go to the store where there's a lot more content and you can just pull up or to the side, scrolling. There's also another feature where you can go to the Oculus button. I think it's like this. Um, and that's basically it for the hand tracking now. Uh, now imagine what kind of implications this stuff has for people doing physical therapy for hands. Uh, that's going to be pretty cool because um, you can do all kinds of measurements with uh, how the hands are actually working here. So that's pretty cool. And that's hand tracking for the Oculus Quest. As usual, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button, the like button, share if you want. And until next time, see ya.